bass player Larry LaBess is playing a fantastic bass line on the song Act Like You Know by his band Fat Larry's Band. We are going to go through that bass line in this bass player spotlight video. If there are any other bass players out there who is also a gamer, it's actually quite funny that this song ended up being on GTA Vice City. So that's a fun fact you can share on with your friends. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button below. That will help me a lot. So let's hear the bass line that Larry Labess is playing. <laughs> Now, it is, if you haven't heard it before, it is such a cool bass line uh, to play. It's heavily pentatonic based, uh, which I think just is really, really cool. But the fact that you have to play so fast, uh, the, the 16th notes, digga digga. It's it's really cool that they've made that such a such a big part of the song. I'm gonna show you at least how I played, uh, but I've seen many people play it differently. So I'm gonna also show you an a, a alternative way of playing the song. There's nothing wrong with playing bass lines differently than the original, as long as it does the purpose of the song. The chords first and foremost is the F, F minor, I believe. F minor to B flat minor. And then we go to a C major, sorry, not C major, a D flat major, and then we go to a C minor. So it's like... So in many ways you can play the bass line like that. But... But it doesn't have all of the oomph that of the song, but that's the main chord progression. That's one way of doing it. Well, that, that's the way I think we should play it. But you can also play it down here, which also makes sense. Such a cool, and also there. So I'm going to play it slowly, and then I'm going to show you the second way of playing this. But th there, there is nothing I need to explain about this, uh, why this bass line uh, has to be on Bass Player Spotlight, because I mean, the bass line itself is self-explanatory how that is an important bass line in the bass history of bass players. <laughs> All right. Now this is a slow version of the of the way I would transcribe and play this uh, if I wanted to play it uh, close to the original would be and if you wanted to play it from the eighth fret. You can you can probably slow the video down and stuff like that if if it, if it didn't catch it, but let me know in the comments below if uh, tabs uh, on this video would would have been helpful because uh, if that is something that I could do in later videos when I when I go through bass lines and you would really like the tabs uh, appearing down below. Uh, on the video, then please let me know in the comments because I'm considering doing it, but I don't want to do the work unless people actually want to have it. Because I, I, I'm I, fairly certain that most of you are just visually seeing what I'm playing and then copying it. But if you'd actually want the tabs, 
let me know in the comments uh, because then I will do the work, uh, no doubt. Right. Here is a second way of playing this type of uh, bass line, um, which I've seen other bass players play. And I really actually enjoy the, the way, the perspective of this uh, way of playing the same bass line. But I don't think it's quite the same as here on the record, but it definitely, and I mean definitely, covers the same bass line. Um, yeah, covers the same bass line. It has the same effect. This alternative way sounds like this. The main difference is that you have the, um, we have this one here. So it, instead of going, uh, well, you can play uh, kind of like hammer-ons, which is very funky. And then you go up to the octave there, which, which is actually really, really cool. Let me know in the comments below which one of these alternatives you like, uh, which one you would prefer to play, or, and especially if you actually have a different way of playing it, then please link it or show it or share the video or anything like that. If you like this video, please click like. Remember to subscribe if you like this channel, that will help me a lot. Uh, Larry Labez, such a killer bassline, and thank you for doing this for the bass community. I think this song has paved the way uh, for the focus to be on the bassline when it's such a heavy part of that song. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the next video.